Hi babes, my name is Vanessa Nance, founder of Magnetic Feminine, and in today's video, I am going to be talking about how to make any man beg for your commitment. So, this is the thing that most feminine energy women want most deeply is a man's commitment, naturally and effortlessly coming towards her. And it's often said that men are the gatekeepers to commitment, while women are the gatekeepers to sex. And this makes perfect sense because for the masculine energy, he views commitment as responsibility. This is very important for women to understand because commitment comes with a lot of responsibility. And so it's a big decision for him to make. For women, commitment comes with a lot of safety, right? And so for her, committing is almost the most easy and natural thing for her to want and to desire. However, sex, it said women are the gatekeepers to sex because sex is gives a man access, direct access to a woman's heart. And it's where she risks, risks getting hurt the most and maybe where she's been um, allowed men in access to her body and too soon and she's been heartbroken and so women can have a lot more issues around sex and giving access to um letting a man have access to her physically right and so it's important to understand these differences so that we can both we can more easily understand ourselves and understand men. So let's dive deeper into commitment. How to make him beg for your commitment. So number one is you wanna look at, are you giving him everything he wants without getting that title that you desire, right? Are you giving him girlfriend benefits? Or worse yet, maybe you're in a relationship and you're giving him the wife benefits before he's proposed, right? Or are you dating and you're giving him girlfriend, um, girlfriend benefits before he's asked for that level of commitment? So this is going to look like you making yourself way too available in the dating phase. This is going to look like you making yourself way too available to him while you're dating, giving him too much access to you emotionally committing to him before he's committed to you. So this will look like writing off all of your other options. You're no longer staying on dating apps. You've completely committed to him emotionally and energetically before he's committed to you. You want to make sure you are still on the dating apps. You're still dating other men because this is likely what he's doing too, right? It takes a while for men to come to that inner decision-making process when it comes to commitment. So you want to check in with your boundaries, right? This is all about boundaries. If you are giving a man too much access to yourself, you're giving him girlfriend benefits before he's asked for that title, then this is a boundaries issue, right? And boundaries always come from our sense of inner connection, inner fulfillment, self-love, right? Think about boundaries as a woman with strong boundaries is very well bound, right? She is bound internally. Her energy is like locked in. She's kind of sealed up in this strongly bound energy. And so she has strong boundaries. She's easily can say no, no to going over to his house maybe last minute on a Friday night because she's like, no, I'm not available for a last minute, hey, can you come over, right? Um, she, even if she doesn't have other plans, she knows that she's already made plans with herself. She has a date with herself and she's not looking for somebody to fill up her life, right? That's strong boundaries, right? Energetically, strongly bound, and her life is full and filled up. Whereas if we have leaky boundaries, it's a woman's gonna be like, oh my gosh, he wants to see me. It's Friday at 5 p.m. and he asked me for a date. Yes, let's go, let's get ready, right? And she's making herself a little too convenient for this man, right? And he needs to, fe he needs to feel from you that you are a woman with high standards with a lot of options, and he's going to have to plan in advance if he wants access to you at prime times, like a Friday night or a Saturday night as such. Um, secondly, it's important to remember that the male commitment process, and I go much deeper into the male commitment process inside my course because it's very extensive, but it's important to realize that men make this commitment from an internal, it's an internal decision that he must come to on his own. So there's no amount of force or pressure that is going to encourage him to make that decision. No amount of asking him, well, where's this going? Well, I, you know, 
I, um, what are you thinking about marriage? Do you want to get married? I really want to get married, right? All of that is going to feel like pressure. And anytime a man is feeling pressure, that is actually going to have him delaying that decision more and more. He needs to feel that he has all the space and all the time to come to this decision on his own. And the less pressure he feels from you, the more that he's actually going to be drawn towards you and want to commit to you. So I do want to be clear though that you can always tell a man, I know I want to be a wife one day, I know I'm looking for marriage, if this is something you want, but make sure you are having that conversation prior to sexual exclusivity or, sex or any physical intimacy. And you know, early on in the relationship, you're setting that standard for this is what I want. And you're seeing, is he the kind of man that can meet this? Does he genuinely desire this, right? And that's going to take time getting to know him because anybody can tell you anything on a first or second date. You want to allow him to reveal himself, to really reveal his truth to you over time, right? Because some men can say, well, you know, especially if you're dating men who are married that have kids, they might say on the first date, oh yeah, I'm open to having children. But then as you get to know them more and more, they start to drop hints that actually they really don't desire more children. And it's not fully in alignment with what you want if you know that you're the kind of woman who, who absolutely wants children, right? So it's important to take the time to get to know somebody because we all reveal ourselves more and more over time. And we might be kind of swept off our feet when we meet someone for the first time and say things that maybe aren't in alignment with what we truly desire. Because some people have not are not doing this level of inner work that you're doing, watching these videos and getting real clarity on what it is you want and desire. So it's important for you that you're taking your time to really um, weed out the men that you're dating to see are they in a full alignment with what you want and once they are in full alignment then you're giving man the man all that space he needs no force no pressure no asking the questions where's this going right because that's all going to feel like chasing leaning forward you're trying to pursue him energy he needs to feel you completely leaned back you have your rotation of men, you're dating, you have lots of options, you're having fun. And I teach women how to do this inside of my dating course, working with me inside Magnetic Feminine Academy. If you're struggling building a dating rotation, I highly, highly recommend you get support because this is where the feminine energy reconnection work is going to just radically transform your love life. You need to have an abundance of options and many women are stuck in a man desert. And so when that one guy comes along that she's all smitten about, she puts all of her energy and focus on him, starts asking him, where's this going? I wanna be a wife and all this. And then he gets scared and runs off, right? So you need to make sure that you really feel empowered, right? And the feminine energy, because it's a passive energy, because it's not the one taking action, saying yes or no so much as far as moving things forward, she creates power in her dating life by having options, by saying, okay, well, if this guy can't give me what I want, then that's okay because I have options over here. She might not be able to take the action as far as asking him for more dates if you're choosing to be in the feminine polarity, right? <laughs> she can't take that, that action, but she can take action as far as moving her energy away from that man and on to other options. And lastly, this one is so, so critical to get a man to beg for your commitment is that he must experience a series of highly positive emotional events, a series of highly positive emotional events that makes him feel that when he is with you, his life is better than when he's not with you. That when he's not with you, he feels something is missing from his life because a very high value embodied masculine energy man, he's going to have his life figured out. He's going to feel very whole and complete in his life before he's met you. He feels very filled up. He feels connected to his purpose. He feels empowered with money and finances. His life feels really good, right? And so when you come into his life, he starts to feel, oh my gosh, maybe something's missing. Maybe I do miss having a woman to wake up next to in my bed every morning. Maybe I do miss seeing a woman, 
you know, waking up and seeing her getting ready and getting her hair done and putting on makeup and missing that, you know, feminine warmth and smile in the house and someone to share a cup of coffee with and have breakfast with and watch the sunrise with, right? And so when he has these series of highly charged positive emotional events, this influences his internal commitment decision making. This is so powerful. Now, what you want to really look out for and avoid are the moments of drama, of getting triggered. If you are getting triggered or there's um, emotional outbursts or any kind of like conflict really that's coming up within the first four to six months, the early stages of dating, that is a big red flag. It's a big red flag that either you need to do deeper inner work to come into connection with your emotions so that you can manage those triggers and not put, place them on a man. Or it's a sign that there's actually deeper misalignment that you're not looking at, that maybe the physical connection has you overlooking. Because there really should honestly be when there is both chemistry and alignment, right? Alignment is compatibility, alignment and values, and there's the emotional connection and um and physical attraction, right? When all those things are there, there should not be any conflict within the first four to six months. That's when a relationship should just feel so easy, so fun, so effortless, and it just is naturally flowing and evolving, right? So this is key. You want to avoid any conflict within the first four to six months. A high value masculine man with a lot of options, right? High value masculine men have a lot of options. He is going to immediately feel this as a red flag if he feels conflict very early on in the dating process. If you're triggered by, and you know, there's no shame in this. I've totally been that woman who's was triggered by a man within the first couple weeks of dating, right? And usually it was, it was pointing to where I had deeper inner work to do around my feminine energy, around my connection to my emotions, and sometimes where there was an alignment. Um, uh, often a little bit of both, right? There's no shame in it, but we have to be willing to honestly look at ourselves. And when a man experiences any kind of conflict or drama, the thing is, is that his nervous system is single focused, right? So he cannot handle emotions the way the feminine can handle emotions, right? Our nervous system, the feminine energy is very, is a diffuse nervous system. So we can handle a lot of emotions. We can experience and feel a lot of emotions and we're like, okay, well that was just an event with a lot of emotions and now I'm better, right? For a masculine man, that is going to be a red flag because he's going to think, wow, if we're already having conflict this early on, what is this relationship going to look and feel like if I'm still committed to her six months, a year down the road, and now his heart is actually in it, right? And so he has less ability to walk away because early on in the dating phase with a man, he is very logical. He's very much more in his head, right? Because he hasn't he hasn't taken that wall down around his heart there. The masculine heart is the most guarded part of a man. And so he's coming from very much more, he's really assessing, he's really looking at things, right? Where a woman can be much more in her emotions in the early phase. She can get caught up quickly in the chemistry because she's being led by feelings. And usually it's not until maybe um, after the fact that she's then she then becomes more logical and looks at things and assesses things right so it's important that you are you are really aware of how you're showing up with him that things feel very light carefree and playful and it's all unfolding effortlessly right a man wants to feel in the very early phases of the relationship that it's like this easy like sunday morning kind of feeling and it doesn't mean that you can't have conflict in a relationship. Of course, every relation, a healthy relationship must have conflict, right? Otherwise, there really is no intimacy, right? Because it's, it means two people are withholding their truth if there's no conflict. I'm not saying there shouldn't be conflict. I'm saying that in that early phase of a relationship where you're still building the foundation for intimacy, if there's actually true alignment, there won't be, there just won't be conflict. There simply won't be any conflict because you have two emotionally healthy people with a solid foundation, with alignment and values and um, 
alignment in, in values and core desires that that there's not going to be a need for for a lot of conflict coming up so that closes it out for today if you're looking for support do send me a dm on instagram i am on instagram at magnetic underscore feminine xo and you can also send me an email at vanessa at magneticfeminine.com if you're interested in finding out more about joining Magnetic Feminine Academy. If you're looking for support, calling in your soulmate, I highly recommend getting inside now because we can completely transform your love life and transform the way you're showing up with men so that you get that deep commitment that you desire.